Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to this motivational series. Today we're talking about setting goals. We need goals. Very, very, very important. And so we're going to talk all about it on the other side. So what is a goal? Other than when you play football and you put the ball in the back of the net. A goal is something that you're going to strive to achieve. Okay, Something that's within your abilities or not depending, you know, there could be a lot of work involved in this goal where you've got to get extra skills and abilities, etc. But it's something that you aspire to. And it's something that fits in beautifully with your purpose, a goal. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to work to develop three goals. We're going to work on three goals. Now, my feeling is that you probably already have some goals. If you don't, then we're going to develop some goals. Okay. My suggestion is this. When you start out goal setting, when you start out, first of all, don't make it massive. Don't make it big. If, you, if you're not accustomed to working toward goals, don't make them too big. Make them, you know, a little test goals, testers, all right? Because what happens is this. You know, we talked about the upward spiral and the downward spiral. The upward spiral is this. When you achieve your goal, you feel so much better about yourself and you believe yourself more and then you achieve the next goal because it felt so good the first time round. you want to experience it again, okay? However, if you start off with a goal up here and then you don't achieve it, it doesn't help your, your self-esteem. It doesn't help your self-worth. It doesn't help your self-love, okay? So don't try and bite off too much at the beginning. Just set some small goals. Let me tell you what I did. I mean, I had big goals, big goals, big goals, but I, I'd kind of been beaten down with life. Life had beat me on over the head. And so I'd lost a lot of confidence in, mis, in myself. And so what I did was I started to do some very small goals, small things. And I linked those with my affirmations, which we're going to move on to. Once we have our goals, we're going to create some affirmations. And I'll tell you all about how the, to get the best out of your affirmations and how to do them. So I just did some small stuff because I wanted to see if this shit works. And of course it does work. And then once you get onto that, that upward spiral of, hey, this shit works, then you can start really building big goals. Yeah. So the first goal that I'd like you to work on with me is the goal of being happy. Okay. So I want you to have two other goals, anything that you like, but I want you to have a goal. If, you, if you're willing to, if not, if you know, if you feel like you're already fully happy, then no problem. But happiness, there are no limits, you know, you can, you can continue being happier and happier. Um, but happiness is a great one. I'll tell you why I'm suggesting that you do that. I set goals and did affirmations for uh, 20 years. Uh, much more than that, actually. I've been doing them since I was 25. I've been doing them a bloody long time. Uh, but seriously, I was doing them, you know, like really seriously after I'd woken up and I did all of these goals and affirmations and I got everything, everything that I wanted, I got. Except I didn't set a goal for being happy. And so I had all of this stuff and yet I just didn't feel fulfilled. I didn't feel happy. And then I realized... That mistake had been that I should have just been happy. Yeah. And then everything else comes. Everything else comes. It's much easier to come to you when you're happy. You become like a magnet. Yeah. So that's what I would suggest that we're going to have one goal of happiness. Now, the other two goals, what I'd like you to do is think about now two things that you'd like to achieve. Short term goals. Don't make them too long. Short term goals, you know, maybe this year. And, uh, just make a note of them. Write them down. Right. Have you got your goals down? Now, I want you just to um, understand the best way of writing a goal. 
okay? A goal needs to be positive. Well, how about that, eh? So that means, but it, it's, it's not that uh, obvious. Lots of people write goals like saying, I don't want to work as hard as I am now, okay? Crap goal, crap goal. A goal should never be what you don't want because what we resist persists, what we uh, think about, we move toward. Okay, so basically your goal must be in the affirmative. This is what I want, okay? And then we need to move away from want. Why? When you want something, what does that mean? What does it mean if you want something? That means you haven't got it. I want an ice cream. Have you got an ice cream? No, I want one, okay? So when we use words that create the, uh, the impression of lack, we're setting ourselves up for a failure. So a goal is present tense, as though you already have it, as though you already have it. So a goal might be, I earn 50,000 pounds a year. Okay, that's a very, very clear goal. Okay. The question is, if you don't have a job, if you don't have a job, right, that's going to put that goal as very, very far away, isn't it? It's like hard to achieve. So one of the things about your goal also, also must be that it's achievable. This is why I said don't, don't over egg it at the beginning. Later on, listen, for the universe, you earning 50,000 a year, 100,000 a year is nothing for the universe. It's nothing. It's meaningless. The universe can give you that in a trice. But the only time it will give you it is if you believe it. And if you can emotionally live it before you have it. Okay. So that's why if your goal makes you feel anxious, you've got a problem. Because you, you must feel excited about the goal. Okay. However, don't worry if, the, if your goals are making you feel anxious because, hey, you've wanted to do them for a long time and you haven't. Don't worry about it. We're going to work through that. But just make sure that they are something that you can achieve at the beginning, you know, and that you don't need too many, like, way out there skills to do this. You've already got the skills. You've got the idea. Just you want to do it. Yeah. And so this is what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to take your goal. Well, and let's, we'll do it with happiness first, okay? So happiness is, I am a happy, loving person. That's your goal. I want to be happy and loving, all right? And so I want you to think about your happiness goal, just as you've, as you've got it there. And I want you to do this. Ask yourself, how will you know when that goal is achieved? How will you know? Just take a moment to think about that. How will you know when that goal is achieved? What will you see? What will you hear? What will you feel to know that that goal is achieved? And so as you think about that, just think, what will it look like? What will life look like? And what will I look like as a happy person? How would you know? How do you see yourself physically as a happy person? How do you see yourself thinking? How do you see yourself feeling? How does that make you feel as you think about being a happy person? Now what you're doing in this process is you are taking a written goal which has certain power but not massively and you are starting to install it into your the atoms of your body you're starting to imagine now the mind cannot distinguish between imagination and reality all right oh it has a very difficult time emotionally it doesn't matter if you imagine it or you do it it's the same thing that's why if we can get scared about imagination and we're just as scared as if it were really happening okay so what you're doing is you're starting to install that feeling, emotion, visuals, sounds, everything into your body. And this is what I would like you to do with each of your goals. Just say to yourself, how will I know when this goal is achieved? 
what will I see? What will I hear? What will I feel? And you go through that. Do that with each of your goals now. And maybe make some notes if you want to about what you expect to hear, see and feel. Okay, so we've got our three goals. Now, the next session that we're going to have is we are going to deal with the emotions that are around the achievement of these goals. Now, we've been looking at, you know, how will it feel? Oh, it'll feel wonderful. But I just want you to look at those three goals and just ask yourself, are there any negative feelings attached to those? You know, as you look at them, do you feel anxious about any? Which ones do you feel anxious about? Which ones make you feel a little bit, ooh? Just decide and put a little mark next to it. What the feeling, the emotion, any negative emotions that are attached to those goals. And that's what we're going to work on next time. Okay. All right. So now you've got three goals. One of them is happiness. That's beautiful. If you just achieve happiness, let me tell you, that would be enough. Imagine a goal that says, I am happy with everything that I have. Imagine that. How about that? How would that change your life? However, look, we're here to do, you know, we're here to do. I know they say we are human beings, not human doings, but I disagree. We are here to be, and we're also here to do. To be and to do, to do and to be. Dooby dooby dooby. Okay, as Frank Sinatra used to sing. I love you all, and I'll see you all soon.